Hello, good morning everybody. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just wanted to share with you my latest uh, project. I was approached by um, Isa from Dots Inspiration um, and I'll link that below and she asked me if I would make a journal from one of her kits and the kit that she sent me was her woodland um, kits um, and as I say I will put a link to that below. So thank you for the opportunity. I really really enjoyed working with your kit and I'd like to show you what I've made. Um, I've also included in here um, some quotes from Mrs Cog's Nature Quotes and Laura from The Papered Soul, if you remember, sent me um, some of her trims and bits and pieces and because it's a woodland kit I've incorporated some of these beautiful trims that she sent me. It's lovely greens and browns, so perfect. Um, and I've also included some of her um, tags that I've decorated. And I'm not sure what you call, are these index cards with the hole at the bottom? I've used one of those and also the time cards. So check Laura out as well because she does have um, some fantastic trims and I'll put a link to Laura below as well. So the journal that I made, um, the kits from Dots Inspiration are, are the, the images were just a dream to work with for a woodland kit. And so many images, I don't think I've used them all, I've got some left. I, I did have a try at using them all. Because there were so many, I've ended up doing a um, hardcover journal. So it measures about six inches wide, eight and a half tall. Um, there are five signatures in here. And it's got, um, I think you call it a hollow back spine, so that when you open it, the signature bit's not attached to the spine bit. Um, uh, did I say I think there's about 200, 220 pages in here? Um, so it's just tied up with some string. And this cover, um, I've painted the spine and then Mod Podged over it so that it's, it kind of looks a bit leathery. I was really pleased with how it, how it came out. And I've kept it plain. Um, and I've used some fabric that I had that was printed with, um, I think, the sycamore seeds and leaves. The... Um, I don't know what you call this, the metal bit that you put, <laughs> put the name of the journal in. Somebody tell me what it's called. Nameplate, is that what it's called? Um, that does actually slide. It does, honest. Yeah, there it goes. Look, it does just slide out. So you can write on that or you can change it for something else if you would prefer. So I'll take you through the journal and you can see what I've done. So I've put some um, eyelets on there and just some tape because I just wanted it to look a bit... Um, rugged, rugged. <laughs> My words are evading me this morning. Sorry, folks. So on the insides, um, I've had some um, cardstock that I've used. I can't remember what where it was from, but it just went really well with this. So as I say, I've used some of the quotes from Mrs. Cog's kit. So that one's nothing is more more blah, 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 blah. nothing is more beautiful than the loveliness of the woods before sunrise. So there's a little pocket just there with a couple of bits in and then I've put um, it's one of the envelopes that comes along with the kit so I've not put anything in it but I've lined it and I've put a little closure on there look love the owl I hope you can see okay it is quite a dull day here in the UK today and one of the um, postcards so the set that she sent me was the basic woodland set which is the kit papers and then she also sent me the ephemera set, um, which has the tags on. And then there's the postcard set as well. Um, and the papers, obviously, are from the, from the kit. Those of you that know me, I had to start with the frog. <laughs> I do love frogs. Um, I've also got a vintage um, observer book of British mammals. So I've included... A couple of pages out of those so I've not done anything with them I've just put them in as is um, little ruffle just there I hope you can see okay um, I was watching as you do um, crafty cat um, and she was making pockets that I think she'd seen Gail Agostinelli make and I can't remember who Gail had seen them make so as it was I had a page of Edith Holden out on my desk at the time so thank you for this inspiration for that so there's a pocket just there, and again another quote just there. And that just goes in there, and I've used some of the fabric. Um, I was going to say feathers, leaves, 
in there as well. I've put some extra journaling space in there. And then there's a card, one of the journaling cards that I've just tucked in the back in there. And then there's just stamped a little hedgehog. So it is a big book, but it does it does lay nice and flat. So that's that's that one in there. Again, the pages of the kit, just beautiful. I love the little squirrel up there. And then I've just put some of the papers down the side there, and then just a little cluster in there. Book page there, some of my tea dyed papers. Observe a book and book page and some other book page there. Another of the pages from the kit and I love the little hare running there and the little bird at the top. Then Dot's inspiration, um, she's from Poland and so the writing is in po po sorry, Polish. So that just adds an extra quirk to it as well, I think. Um, a glassine bag there and I had a, a napkin with a hedgehog on. So I've just um, put that on there. And then one of the cards from the kit with the hedgehog on. <coughs> it just sits in there. A uh, book page there. Some trim on there and just some stamping. Another quote there from Mrs. Coggs. If one really love, if one truly loves nature, one finds beauty everywhere. And that was by Vincent Van Gogh. Edith Holden page there. Another of the book, the um, kit pages centre of the first signature so as you can see there is lots of room to write in this and as I say it does it does lay flat image there of a wild wild pig is it a boar and a wasp some more trim there and then that's just from Edith Holden um, I had it left over from something else so I've just made that into a tuck spot another that's the back of the mushroom page and then another of the um, postcards there that I've used as a pocket and I've put one of the little fabric leaves on there. And then there's another journaling card there. Um, these doily prints are from Rachel, uh, Roxy Creations, and it just I just wanted the um, squirrel to stand out, so I used one of those as well. So if you don't like these plain pages, you can put something over it, a picture or, or, or some plain paper to write on. Again, the my coffee dye or tea dye, I think it is. And book page there um, with the badger. And there is a little bit of a snake there. So I do apologise if you don't like snakes. Just a snake warning. Um, little cluster there with some mushrooms on. Um, I can't remember where these... Um, tags come from but there's got the um, definition of no landscape on there and then there's a squirrel on that you can see the beautiful book pages uh, kit pages there and the second signature for that one I've used an image of the um, grizzly bear or brown bear and then one of my book pages there about the brown hair that I've just included so you can use them as um, you can use them as tags or just leave them as they are, but I just didn't want to cut them up. And then on this one, um, there's a little tuck spot just here. I think that's a page I had left from Artie Mays, and I've put a quote on it there. To see the world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. And that's from William Blake. And then one of uh, Tracy's tags just there. And then Tracy's definition of um, forest there. And then I think that's one of my favourite images from the kit, apart from the frog, of course. The bear looking at us. The blackbird. And then I've just um, done a little bit of collaging there with an owl and some of the papers from the kit, just on the edge of the page there. And then another little collage just there. Another of the um, kit pages. And then there's just a little tuck spot. That's a little, um, a thin tag just in there. Sorry, excuse me, leaning. Just fits down in there. And then there's just one of the little tags from the kit just there. And a little um, tracing paper pocket there with a butterfly on. And then some extra journaling paper there on one of the postcards. Um, this is a book page that I've had, um, and the other side of this is um, 
further on in the signature is a um, envelope. So I've just joined it to the envelope to make a, a pocket. So this is one of the fussy cuts that come with the kit and I've just put it on that book page with a little fabric snip there. Another of the quote, trees are the earth's endless effort to speak to the listening heaven. Another coffee page there, um, Edith Holden. Love that page from the uh, kit. Centre of the second signature. Love the owl. Then this is the back of the envelope. So I've put um, one of the postcards again and made a little tuck spot there. And then I've just cut a little chipmunk. I think that by, uh, is one of Mrs. Cog's um, forest creature cards that I've just cut out of there. And then there's a this is the envelope that I've attached to that book page and just made it into a um, little pocket there. There's a butterfly there. Sorry, I'm at a funny angle today. And then I've just um, stitched on some fabric um, and then glued that on just to give it a bit of interest. Uh, this is um, the tag from Laura. So this is one of these tags that I've decoupaged a napkin onto and then I've just put some fabric through the hole at the bottom. And then in there I've just put a little tag with one of the, I think that's one of Mrs. Cog's images there. Love the squirrel. And the mushrooms again, a little cluster just there. And again, an owl. Um, I think that's the fussy cut from the kit. Um, and then some more of the papers from the kit. And then the last page of this signature, just some writing space on some straw paper. And then again, a leaf and a little butterfly. And you can actually feel the stitching. So if that's going to annoy you, um, but I actually quite liked that you could feel the ridges of the stitching and you can still write on that page if you wanted to or, or stick something on it. But I quite like the, the bumps. Um, squirrel there. Again, that's one of the double book pages and that's all about the red squirrel. Another of the um, leaves there with a little bit of crochet trim that I've cut off something. Um, CD envelope there that I've put that's um, one of Mrs Cog's forest creature images and it's my favourite one and I think that the squirrel and the butterfly just like to have a chat and then there's the definition there of uh, the woodland and that's one of traces and then that's one of the uh, kit pages and I've just taken the mushrooms off there and made a little journaling card another of the book pages there sorry kit pages and again I've put that um, um, machine stitched piece of paper on there so you can feel the bumps on that as well. Um, book page. Then on this one there's a tuck spot here with some of the mushrooms um, and I've just collaged that as well and put some fibres behind it. Um, and then this is actually one of Mrs Cog's um, latest William Morris papers that I've just um, collaged on there and then there's a definition there of nature owl and a squirrel stamped there in the centre of the third signature you can see the kit pages are so beautiful another stamping there a little fox mushrooms um, little pocket just here with a leaf on so that flips up and it's just got a little card in there. And then the back there, again, I think these, I think they might be possum, I'm not sure, but that's from Mrs. Coggs as well. And then there are Liz's papers from her William Morris and one of Rachel's um, doilies. But I just liked how it went together with all the red. Another of the kit pages there. Some more ruffle trim. Then one of the um, labels that come with the kit, and again that stitched um, that trim that I've put onto paper, just on that page. Another of those um, journaling cards there, with some leaves on, and that's just a little tuck spot. And the hair, I think he is a hair because he's got long ears. And then on this one again, that lovely um, bear, and then this is about the harvest mouse. 
so information there about the harvest mouse. I've, it does go that way, but there's no picture on there, which is why I've turned it round. And the lovely image there of the stag. So I've um, I used the um, tags that came with that as a tuck spot, and then there is deer that is in his herd, and they're all there on the field on the hill. Um, fussy cut that again. I think that's one of Mrs. Cogs. Um, the papers from the kit. So there is lots of room in this one to write. Um, the papers from the kit I've made into three pockets and these are the um, these tags from Laura that I've used that they just fit perfectly in there. So they've all got a quote on them and a little bit of stamping on them. And if you do have this journal, they, they kind of fit better in the pockets that they're in. Um, they fit, I don't know why, because they should be the same size. Um, and again, this is Laura's trim as well. Sorry, I'm at an awkward angle. And they all just fit in there. Again, one of the um, envelopes that I've used and then it, the book page is on the other side. So I've just done some um, collaging on there and then, excuse me, reaching an image there. Again, one of Rachel's um, doilies, image there of the squirrel. And then this is one of the kit pages. And then on the back there, there's a, another pocket with one of the tags from the kit. And that says, look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. And that's from Albert Einstein. And then just a little leaf cluster just there. A squirrel. Hedgehog. And then the page there about the hedgehog. And the, I think that must be a fox. Maybe it's a wolf. And then this is the, the book page that's the back of the envelope. So this is a page I had left over from Artie Mays. Um, and again, another quote up there from John Ruskin. And then I've, out of the papers from the kit, I've made a couple of pockets here. And just put some tags in them. Sorry, I'm at a funny angle again. And then some, again, with the mushrooms. And then that's a, just a stamp of a beetle. A squirrel. Again, the collaging. And again, the tuck spot there. So the tags that come with the kit. And I've just paired that up with the image of the bear. And then backed it with the um, page from the kit. And then the last signature, you can just see their fabric that I've used on the cover there. Um, I don't know if that's a wolf or a fox, but I had a book page of the fox. So I put that in there. And again, little pocket here with the deer on, because it matched that page there. And again, that's just um, collaged on there and just some um, cotton threads on there as well with that bare image there of a little mouse or a bank bowl. Um, this is a pocket here and I think that was leftover paper again from Artie Mays so I've put a journaling card in there and that's the kit papers sorry I am at a, an awkward angle aren't I that ju does just slide in there one of the postcards tucked in there the pocket and then behind the tag there is a little collaged card as well and that just fits in the back in there. So I, I was quite pleased with how that page just turned out. Um, some fungus mushrooms. Again a, a pheasant there. I should know it does say it there. And these pa papers aren't they lovely? It does look like forest paper doesn't it? And then this is the um, time card um, from Laura that I've just decoupaged. You can actually see 
it's quite dark but you can see the writing underneath that and that's just um, some tissue paper that I had with owls on um, you should be able to see that okay sorry yep and then I've just put a large journaling card in there and then I've used one of the pockets on that journaling card just for something a little bit different that just tucks in there So you can see how many um, pages there are in this kit. And then, of course, the frog. And then the back here is the same as the pocket at the front um, that was from Crafty Cat and um, Gail Gostinelli. So again, that flips out. Um, and I've put some papers in there this time, some straw paper. So it flips out. Um, there is a journaling card behind it. And that's got extra journaling space on it. And then there's, yeah, that's up that way. And then there's a journaling card in there with the deer on. So that's slightly higher because I wanted to put the leaf on it as decoration. Sorry, reaching again, I do apologise. And that just fits in there. So flip out, yep. Yeah. And then in the back, I've put a, another of the, sorry, twisted, another of the mushroom clusters there. Uh, things perfected by nature are better than, than those finished by art. And that's from Cicero. And just a little mushroom cluster. And then a little one of the journaling cards. And again, one of the little envelopes that come with the kit. Nothing in that one, but again, I've lined it, so it's quite sturdy. And that's got the deer on the back. So that is my... Um, interpretation of the woodland kit from Dots Inspirations. I do hope you like it. Um, you can see it is quite chunky but it does it does close to quite well. Um, the construction, the board is um, a couple of layers of cereal box so it is sturdy but it's not as solid as book board but it is quite flexible as you can see. So I do hope you like it and again thank you very much for the opportunity to use your kit and I hope you like what I've done with it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.